That's right. It's time for another New Jersey Shore update. Notre Dame football. Here we go. Scott Mankin, your host. Hopefully that'll go better in future telecasts. All right, so we're going to play. We're 7-1. We have a blemish. The Irish have a blemish. And I'll tell you what. I read the Bible and God forgives us. And I forgive those ACC refs. Um, what happened? We all have a bad day, don't we? But Lou Holtz, great quote, gave up. God gave us two eyes in front of our head so we can always look forward. Those Irish who played for Lou have heard that quote more than once, I'm sure. Destiny is in our hands. Let's go for it, Irish. We've started out 7-1, probably better than we expected, and we're in good shape. The defense. Let's look at the stars from the 7-1 start. I'm going to start with Andrew Trombetti from Demarest, New Jersey, a freshman. Stood out early in the year. Sheldon Day, the MVP of the defense. Sheldon, I don't know what happened in this last game. That injury against Navy, I'm nervous. Let's get back in there, guy. Jaron Jones. Jaron, you know, we didn't know which way you were going to go this season. Great job. Get back in there, too. This Navy game, those cut blocks. Come on, guys. You know, it's okay to be undersized. It's okay to be hustle. But you know what? We walked out of that game with some injuries. And I'm wondering, we need to do a backtrack. Is Navy doing this to every team they play? Guys, it's dirty play. No need. No need to go to the guy's knees. Isaac Rochelle. Another guy having a good year. So, where we didn't know, we now know. Let's take a look at some more of the defenders. The king of the corner, Cody Riggs. Maybe the, I'll tell you what, the guy that deserves respect this year. Uh, really played the role, really matured. Went through some preseason, offseason. You know, where is he going to play? Where does he fit in? Kept quiet, stayed professional, stayed mature. You know what I'm talking about. Matthias Farley. Jalen, you're the national MVP. Came out, you've had a great year. And I'll tell you what. With the injuries, with where we're heading, with the few games that are left, you got to stay there, guy. My MVP, Jersey Shore MVP, keyword, Jersey, Elijah Shumi. My friend from Don Bosco. What a great year you've had. On the offense, hats off to the line. I'll tell you what you have to like. They've played great. And they went through the adjustment. You Irish fans know what happened about the third game. We flip-flop things. We moved Nick over to guard. Some things happened. And I'll tell you what. Nobody pouted. Everybody shouted. They worked together. My stars on the offense through eight games the 7-1 and one season. CJ Procise. I'll tell you what. Heard a lot about you last year before the year started. Expected more? Got it now. Got it now. Great job, kid. Torian Folston. You know, I'm the biggest Greg Bryant fan in the world. I hope you all are. Heard he got injured in the last game. Let me tell you. Three running backs. Cam, Torian, Greg. Unbelievable job. Unbelievable commitment to teamwork. And you know what? It takes all three of you to get where we need to get. Keep working together, but you know what, Torian? Great job. Corey Robinson. The Admiral's son. Good job. Way to do it. Way to rise to the occasion. I'll tell you what, our wide receiving core, <laughs> it went from questionable and something we wondered about to think about what a strength it is. Will, Corey, Tory. Some good things going on there. Chris. Let's move on to special teams. Amir and Cody, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's four thank yous for four years we didn't have special teams, okay? It was basically a punt, fair catch. A kickoff, 25-yard line. Guys, great job. 
you've taken some hits, you've taken some chances, you may be game breaking before the year ends. Keep it up, be confident, work hard. B V G Brian Van Gorder. If we can give out an MVP uh, trophy right now, it would be for Everett. Okay, Everett, you've done a great job. But Brian, uh, I've got to give you a lot of credit. For those of us that really watch play to play, for those of us that played defense when we played football, um, and understand the impact it can make, phenomenal, phenomenal. ASU, 7 and 1. Ranked number one in their South Pac-12 Conference. Ironically, Zane Gonzalez, three-time South Pac-12 Special Teams Player of the Week. He's their kicker. Their field goal kicker. Field goal kicker. Field goal kicker. DJ Foster out of the backfield. 760 yards. And their balance on offense, 2,300 yards passing, 1,700 yards running, or vice versa. It's 4,000 yards in great balance. We'll take that out of editing in future broadcasts. Tate, keys to the game. I'll leave it like this. And I see it. I see it crystal clear. Trombetti, Niles Morgan. From the planet of Crete. I'll tell you what happened. I wasn't in ideal conditions to watch the last game against Navy in the second half. I must admit that and I apologize to Notre Dame Nation. And I kept seeing number five, number five, number five popping up, making plays. And I'm like, don't recognize the number. Is it me? Went to the videotape, went to the roster, Niles Morgan planet of Creed, you're going to fill in for Joe Schmidt. I'll tell you what, Blankenship, I'm liking what I'm saying. I know what the ship is, and it's Blankenship from the colony in Texas. Great job. You guys, you three freshmen are keys to the game, but let me tell you where it all is. Cat. Kyle Brinson. I mentioned before that Zeke Gonzalez, ASU, feels pretty good probably going into the game. I'll bet you his coach, who shall rename unnamed, has probably said to him, you're going to win the game for us. Well, he's half right. The game's going to be decided on a field goal. And we're going to record this game on this tape, I should say, on Monday night. I'll probably get it up Tuesday. Trust me, it's way before Saturday's game. Kickoff, 3.30. Kyle Brinson, bring it home, buddy. Notre Dame Irish from the Jersey Shore. We'll see you next time.